Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday, the 6th of April. How's everybody doing, everybody? Welcome back. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Bonnie. Good to see you, Ben. Good to see you, John, everyone. Welcome, Cyber Traders. And welcome, new traders that are here today. I know it's Monday. It's usually your first day on the job. I'd like to welcome all of you uh, to, uh, for a, to a better life. Hopefully, everybody's been enjoying uh, <laughs> this crazy market we had. So anyway, just a real quick little recap about last week before we continue going into today. And, you know, it's going to be a very short week due to the, you know, Good Friday. But uh, last week was uh, for some of you that, you know, traded last week and or, didn't, you know, it's the first day on the job here. Uh, we had a couple of really good days. Uh, LK was obviously the, let's bring that up right here. Oh, typed in the wrong window. Probably our best trade of the week last week. A lot of us made a lot of money on the stock LK. It doesn't look so pretty on the long-term chart, but you can see it went from like 25 down to four bucks. And, um, you know, one of the things I just want to, the reason why I'm bringing this back up is because last week, uh, Ken says uh, it was unreal last week. Well, listen, Ken, it's what you train for, right? It's what we all train for. But uh, regarding about the Luke and coffee, uh, regarding about, I want to just reiterate, remember I told you, you know, don't go back and trade that stock. Listen, I made, I still, I make mistakes. I've been in this for 25 years. And, you know, sometimes we have to learn from those mistakes over and over. We're always learning. I don't care how good of a trader you are. Great traders never stop learning. And um, LK reminds me of the dryers trade, D-R-Y-S. That stock I got bought out. The, you know, some of you remember trading all the shipping stocks. Well, I made a killing on that stock too. And then what happens after you keep, you know, you want to go back and like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you know, the thing's moving again. It's moving again. And I know that we looked at LK and I said, listen, from experience, guys, it's not a good trade because there's so much volume going on right now. And you deal with so many people that own the stock at this price. It'd be very, very difficult. It has to break a barrier before it gets there. But, uh, but that stock was just, you know, we made money killing on a short. We made killing on the long. But this was by far the best trade of last week. Now, regarding about Friday, you know, all the, obviously, you know what happened with oil. So it looks like they're, uh, everyone's r raising the white flag between the Russians and the Saudis. And I think they're coming to a truce. But uh, oil had a nice little run yesterday uh, on Friday. You know, but I don't know. It was like everything was gapped up and things started going up a little bit. Not completely sold about it. I know it's kind of bummer for some of us. You know, it's pretty funny. The Oil took such a hit. But for some reason, I didn't notice too often on my gas pumps. I guess maybe because nobody's buying gas because nobody's traveling around anymore. But uh, it's so funny. When, when, when oil goes up, they, 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 they raise the price like that day. But when, they, when oil goes down, it usually take, they say, oh, well, we're waiting. It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect about a week down the road because they didn't get their oil delivery. I tell you, what a bunch of scammers. I, 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 that bothers me so much. But anyway, uh, but there's a lot of good stocks that, are, uh, that, that did well last week. Now, we're going into this week. And William Island actually came up and said, sent me a, a private message, was asking me what, how it's going to work out with the holiday weekends. Well, listen, you guys, you know, being a student here, some of you have been here for a long time and you know what it's like to be during a holiday. And regarding about, you know, uh, Good Friday, the, the markets only close, I think, seven days out of the whole year. And because it is a short week and because obviously everyone's pretty much home, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that much in a, an effect because. I think we're, everyone's been on vacation for about almost a month now. So everybody's home. Nobody's going to rush to the airport or whatever it is. So I don't really think that Thursday is going to be that much of, a, of, a, of a, uh, an impact of a slow market as much as if it was we were all working and people are going away and kids are off, you know, for, for the holidays, you know, kids are off that week, you know, for vacation, whatever it is. So I don't think it's going to really be that much of a, you know, a, a – an adjustment in the market, William, and and everybody here, you know, being a student for so long, you know, all the, you know, all you veterans have been here for a while. So I'm 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 a, I'm looking to, to be excited going all the way to the end of the week. But it is the market is closed on Friday, so uh, so uh, and for everybody observing Friday, you know, you know, happy Good Friday. But we'll talk about that on Thursday. In the meantime, it is um, a, that's true too, and that's another free thing too, Ron. Right? It's Passover too. Uh, that is on on um, Wednesday and Thursday, which is very very rare. That's right next to each other, so that's. But once again, I don't really think it's going to really be a factor. I'll find out. We'll see what happens on Tuesday, but 
Everybody, like I said, everybody's already home. No one's got to rush to catch the next airplane. I don't think anyone's going to be catching a plane for a while anyway or getting on the next cruise. But, you know, but anyway, uh, we'll see how it pl uh, plays out. But listen, I'll tell you one thing, though. I, I, I could tell you this. I'm, you're hearing all this news. I've been watching on the weekend, seeing how it's going to affect the financial markets. Obviously, the market's up, or, up this morning. We're up about 700 points. And we really haven't gone anywhere. We've been stuck around this 700. So it looks like we're, they said that this is going to be the worst week uh, in New York City regarding about deaths because of the coronavirus, which is going to be a really, really sad thing. But the positive said that they, the, the cases have not came, out, came in as much. We'll see what happens in the next day or two, see how that affects. But um, I don't like when they talk like that because then people start thinking, oh, now it's safe to go outside. Listen, it's going to be like this uh, going all the way to the end of April. But as us traders, where else we got to go, right? We're sitting here, we're trading, we're doing pretty well. Market has just been fun. I mean, let me tell you, it's just been an animal. More and more people now want to start to learn how to trade. And you know what? <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, you know what? Where, where you've been all this time. You know what I mean? This is, this, this is the, basically the future. And, you know, it's about time you want to take matters in your own hands, especially you want to capitalize it. I'll tell you, over the weekend, my phone has been blowing up. You know, every, uh, people out of the woodworks are now starting to ask me, hey, well, how's the market doing? Can, can I get in there now? Everybody wants to start learning how to trade. And you know what? Like I tell everybody, it's never too late. So anyway, regarding about last week and now going into this new week, listen, it is Monday. To tell you the truth, I don't really see that much action going on in, in, in the morning. And this is typical for a Monday. I thought the same thing on Friday. Remember, Mondays and Fridays are pretty much the same. But um, coming back from the weekend, there are a couple of things, news that is coming out. But like the mortgage stocks are obviously doing pretty well. We'll look at them. Uh, NYMT is one of them. I mean, they're, they're gapped up, up 17%. We did really well on these mortgage stocks uh, not too long ago. I mean, remember, you could see it right here on the long-term chart that this stock went from a dollar all the way to $2. I mean, we had a great, great day trading that stock, and they came right back down to its support levels. But this is just one of them. There's several of them out there that's do, that are moving. IVR is another one that's gapped up. It's up 17%. What else? Uh, GPMT. But the only thing I'm not too crazy about them, they're... I don't know. They haven't done anything in pre-market. They haven't really done that much in pre-market. But it's but they're all gapped up, and you can see what the overall what the market doing. You know, we're still stuck here at seven hundred. So uh, let's see what what happens when the market opens up. But there are a couple of other stocks that are moving. This was a pretty freak one. I don't know what the hell this was all about. This thing went from ten dollars to twenty six. Talking about getting halted at eight o'clock and just gapping up that big. Talking about a 112% mover, and now it's starting to come back down. It's down to 19. So, obviously, they must have came out with some pretty good good news on this stock. Uh, it was nice to be in something like that. It was at $10. Unfortunately, I wasn't. But, you know, but buying it at 26, you're probably literally, like, ripping your hair out. Now it's at 20. But uh, let, we'll keep an eye on it. You know, I want to see what's going on. Obviously, uh, 6 million shares. Not too crazy. Um ECN orders out there, but there is an iceberg order out here for 14000 right here at $19.81. So that one's not, not terrible. DGLY, another one that's gapped up about 30%, 300,000 shares, very cheap little stock. As long as it, you know, as long as it stays above a, a dollar, it makes things a little bit easier. You know, we don't like to trade when we start dealing with tenths of a penny. That one's doing pretty well. Uh, ben, you've traded Delta. Did pretty well on that one. Yeah, Delta looks pretty good. Nice little pop right there on that Delta. Made about 70 cents. All right, good for you. Give him a round of applause. You're net 20. Yeah, I mean, the, the, all these stocks took big hits. I mean, with the market, you know, we had a good run up. Now the market came down. The only, this only thing I noticed, Ben, I mean, there's a lot of the stocks that are moving, but the, the airlines haven't moved yet, which is kind of weird. I mean, everything else is moving. Up. Everything's gapped up pretty big. I mean, you know, I'm a big fan of Boeing. Boeing's also up pretty big right now, up six percent. But this, this has basically been up. Um, a lot of them, a lot of them are, are doing pretty well. Just, it's funny the airlines didn't move uh, move too much. TWO is another one I found this morning. But you see how they like flattened out. Stock went from 15 down to two. Now it's gapped up about 38 percent. So I mean, I want to see how these things open up. This one also. I know a lot of you guys were trading this one this morning. Uh, Wayfair, this stock obviously 
it's so, it's so sad. Every time I, I look at the left and I look at the right chart, you know, one's the one day chart. The other one's like the, is the, is the, you know, is the yearly chart. And it's just so sad to see so many things up, up down. There. It was down to $30. Holy crap. $150 stock down to 30. I don't know why Wayfair, I mean, I don't know how Wayfair got affected so bad to it. I mean, every, it's just an online store, but yeah, this thing took a huge hit. Well, uh, well, you know what? Only went from actually it was at one ten. It was on its way down since last year. But uh, I always look at what happened in January to kind of really realize where the market was. But yeah, I think it was at one ten down to thirty. It's up pretty big. Um, almost it made half back its half uh back its money, up twenty nine percent. That was a pretty good trade right there. I know. I know you guys have been watching this one pretty well. This one's been doing great. So, so far, this one's been the nicest one so far this morning. You could see, from, it, it, remember what I told you, 8.30 is the move. There's two moves in the pre-market. There's the 8 a.m., and then there's the, the 8.30. And then after that, 9 o'clock, then all of a sudden is where we start getting all the shakes and whatever. But usually that 8.30 is where program trading kicks in. And that thing did a really nice move at 8.30. 7.40 up to almost like 8.60 right now. Great, great move. Great volume. 1.7 million shares already trade up 10%. Look at the right-hand side. Great, great iceberg orders out there. Good volume. Great trading stock. But um, I, would, I would be careful, like I said. I mean, I've seen the mortgage stocks up, but I don't know what that's all about. But they're all moving. And uh, let's see how they open up. But there are some other good stocks that are moving up. This has obviously been treating us the best. And then obviously with the market being up, you got some of the airlines moving too. I mean, there's American Airlines. I'll tell you, once I broke that, Ten dollar price range. Oof, that was terrible for American Airlines. They didn't. They, they did not want that. Now remember, ten is a major resistance levels. All right. Uh, INO got FDA approval for the coronavirus testing beginning today. All right. Is that the INO? Did they? Did they? Are they the one that made the the fifteen the fifteen minute test? Ron, is that that one that what it is? You know that they were talking about that one. I don't know. They're the ones that made it. But um. But if that's it, you know, once again, remember, guys, stock went from four up to 20. We did great with it. Guess what? It came right back down to six. So, you know, remember, these are not, uh, they, just remember, these are not type of stocks that are long-term trades. All right? So be very, very careful of uh, which ones, you know, have FDA approvals and what they're selling, which they're not. All right? So they're all very speculative. But, uh just to remember what we always say, take the money and run. All right, so there's your watch list, guys. Uh, remember, it is Monday, so let's be a little careful going on to this week. We don't really have too much going on because of, uh, we, I mean, we do got the open house that's on Thursday, but remember, the market is closed on Friday. So, uh, but no one's rushing to go anywhere. And you got Passover, you know, on uh, on Wednesday and Thursday. So well, there's no place else to go other than to hang out here and trade together. So if we see anything good, see something, say something. And if you're new to Cybertrain University, for all you new people that are starting here on Monday, please keep in mind, this is not a teaching room, okay? This is a trading room. You sit back, watch. Please don't trade any, anything that we're doing. You're just here to observe. So, you know, to see if it's for you or not. If this is something you want to do, then we'll, uh, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk to the education advisor and he'll explain to you. Uh, but remember, just look, listen, and learn. All right, guys? Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll be starting commentating in 10 minutes uh, once the market opens up. All right. Good luck, everybody.